in the plot of, of your film? You mean why we... Why, 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 how, what's happening in Manila in your movie? Why, why is it the setting in Manila? I, I will tell you, but... Uh, hey, Mark! Here's, here's Mr. Hey. Hey. by the way, this is his directorial debut, this is the first time he would direct a film, so perhaps you could, uh, uh, Mr. Mark could probably direct, Mark could talk about the film. So Mark, why is it, why, why are you setting the film in Manila, that's why the title is Showdown in Manila. Why Manila? Why Manila? Why not Bangkok, why not Hong Kong, why not uh, Korea, something like that. Why Manila? This is my fifth project in the Philippines. And uh, the previous four, I always felt, did not show enough of the natural beauty and the culture that your country has to offer. So when, when Alex and I were discussing the possibility of doing it here, we wanted to highlight, like I said, the jungles and the mountains and the people. Uh, so, first and foremost, was that. Uh, another thing is that it's so unique to most of the world. Most of the world does not know much about the Philippines, unfortunately. And I thought this would be a good time for us to show that. And story-wise, you, you have the incredible locations. I mean, just recently, the Huffington Post uh, wrote that... Uh, He's a Kazaro. Good afternoon, Lisa. Sure. But anyway, just recently the uh, Huffington Post wrote that uh, one of the number one tropical destinations in the world, under discoveries, is Palawan. And uh, we're going to highlight that uh, in our movie as well. Also, uh, an abundance of local talent and a lot of production value uh, for the dollar. So there are all these good reasons uh, why we should come to the Philippines. And I think also in the early 90s, I think a lot of people shot movies in the Philippines. And uh, since then, you know, it has been a long time since we, we, we heard that people were shooting in the Philippines. So this is kind of a reviving, you know, the, <clears throat> the industry here in your country, which is great. Especially the look of the jungle, it's going to be so rich, so beautiful. It's like going on a vacation, so when you watch a movie, I think it's going to be very exciting, you know, not only the action, but also the beauty of the jungle and the people and, you know, everything that comes with it in your country is great. So, yeah, I think we haven't seen uh, uh, the Philippines for a long time, you know, in a big screen. So, it's a great opportunity. Your turn. My turn. Um, the first time I heard about the Philippines was also in the 90s. Uh, a lot of my friends shot movie here, like Gary Daniels, I don't know if you know Gary Daniels. Everyone was always bragging about it, and I thought, oh, why am I never get to go here? <laughs> now I am, 15 years later. <laughs> uh, Mark showed us a trailer of a film uh, Roger Corman has produced here. And it was shot in the jungle, and I thought it was so impressive. Santiago did it, right? He produced it. And, um, the moment I saw that reel of all that action, that military gear, the way it was executed, it looked like a $80 million uh, Hollywood production. And I thought, oh wow, this is gonna be a great opportunity for all of us to be in a film that looks really bigger and better than most films that are shot for under $10 million, you know? So yeah, and that's the Philippines for you. That's what we are having being offered to us. And, we are grateful for it, I'm grateful for it. I'm sure Mark is, is grateful. We had, uh, as any film production, many hours, crueling hours, 
Uh, the team, the crew, Santiago's crew is amazing. Always a friendly smile. Any corner you turn, people smile at you. Someone smiles at you. I mean, oh, again, someone smiled at me. <laughs> May I give the mic? Sorry, I came from ASAP from a live show. My apologies to my co-stars. Hello. What's the question? Sorry. What's the question? Before, you know, before, before, before you even start, let me, let me tell you that uh, for me, it's a big honor to work with Philippine actors. Isa, Jake, uh, Hazel, you know, you have so many great actors here. Isa, you're doing a great job, you know, yeah. really. Yeah. Really. And I think, I'm you know, so there's no translation for that, but I'm so, so just really? thank you, thank you. And I think our film, it's, you know, it's like it's like an orchestra because you have people from Russia, people from France, people from America, people from Hollywood, people from Germany. We actually, Emmanuel Bittencourt over there, five-time world martial arts champion, he's right there. You know, also great friend of mine. You know, so I just hope that your audience here in the Philippines also will love that film. We shoot it in English with Hollywood cast and crew, but still. We're like an orchestra, and I just hope, you know, uh, it will be great. So again, thank you, Izzy, and thank uh, to all of your colleagues. Oh, thank you. Thank you for being here. You guys are making our country so cool. <laughs> this is like the coolest cast ever. This is a dream cast. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And also big thanks to our Philippine producer. Is he here? Uh, Chris. Where is Chris? Chris Santiago is here. <laughs> For me, it's a big honor to work with him because I know his father's movies. I mean, we all know his father's movies, and we're so glad that he's producing also movies now. And actually, we're already thinking about the sequel of Showdown in Manila. We didn't finish it yet, but we're already thinking about the sequel. So thank you, and thanks to Elaine. Elaine is uh, right there, it's our line producer. Yeah, thanks to her.